हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम बैक टू द ब्रांड न्यू वीडियो क्या कभी तुमने सोचा है कि जी टी फाइव के जो तीनों मेन कैरेक्टर्स है अगर हम उनसे सेम मिशन या कोई सेम काम करवाए तो किस टाइप से उनका रिस्पॉन्स होगा क्या रिप्लाई देंगे वो नहीं सोचा ना क्योंकि मैंने अभी सोचा और ये वीडियो में हम वही देखने वाले मैं तीनों कैरेक्टर से सेम काम करवाने वाला हूँ और देखते हैं कि वो क्या रिस्पॉन्स देते हैं सो so, वीडियो में बने रहो वीडियो अच्छा लगे तो लाइक ज़रूर करना चलो वीडियो शुरू करते हैं हमें किसी इस आसपास लोकेशन पर जाना रहता है एक लड़की रहती है वो किडनैप होती रहती है उसको पहचाना है हमें Oh, these goddamn bikers again. Hey, you enjoying yourself now, huh? You're a dead man. Oh. And people say I'm a disgrace to society. What exactly is wrong with you? Hey girl, you good? It's clear. It's safe. You can come out now. Okay, miss. They won't be causing you any more problems. Oh, thank God. I don't even want to think about what they have done to me. I'm still shaking. Can you give me a ride? I, I don't know who else to ask. I ain't just gonna leave you here. I got no money, no phone, nothing. Could could you give me a ride? Yeah, of course. Come on. I got no money, no phone, nothing. Could, could you give me a ride? Oh, I think I can manage that. Come on. If you can drop me on Inesena Road in Chumash, I'll get a friend to pick me up there. Thank you so much for stepping in. I, I know what those guys are like. They'd have killed me for sure. Some things you don't let go, and that's one of them. So you knew those creeps. Any time. My daughter's not much younger than you. So you knew those creeps. Any time. Even if they hadn't been trying to kidnap you, I'd have probably killed them all anyway. Me and the Lost aren't the best of friends. So, you knew those creeps. You know, for as long as I can remember, the Lost was my life. I was committed. And until you've been with a fat, hairy, middle-aged guy who hasn't changed his leathers in a week, <laughs> you don't know the meaning of commitment. You know what I mean? And then all the partying just started to take its toll. Feeling down all the time, missing my family. Anyway, I decided to get out, clean myself up, get into treatment, and a couple shrink sessions. And guess what? Turns out, getting passed around like a piece of meat by older men doesn't give me self-esteem after all. It's sick. I, I was too far in, too gone to see what a victim I'd become. You know, the problem is, you don't just leave the lost. You're locked in. It's worse than religion or. Cable TV subscription, whatever. You know they never stop coming after you. Yeah, look, you need to make some new friends. You know they never stop coming after you. They sound like real gentlemen. You know they never stop coming after you. Well, this has certainly renewed my already significant hatred for the Lost Biker Gang. Hey, why the hell would you get involved with those punks in the first place? Why the hell would you get involved with those punks in the first place? Why the hell would you get involved with those punks in the first place? It was exciting at the beginning. Tough guys, money, drugs. I guess I was just another rebellious young girl who wanted to get back at her parents. But instead of dating an older guy for a week like the rest of my friends, I end up rolling with a gang of older guys for like 10 years. Fuck. I am so naive. I say you probably got back at them enough now. Holy shit. And I thought my daughter went way out of her way to punish me. Well, it'll be my pleasure to deal with every last one of those guys for you. You have my word on that. 
and why did I get lost, tattooed on my stomach? So stupid. It'll cost a fortune to laser that off. Out of context, it's like I'm trying to make some kind of existential statement. The people in my group therapy think I'm really pretentious. <laughs> Can you believe that? Me, pretentious. Some guy joked he was gonna get lonely tattooed on his chest the other day. Guess what? You are lonely, loser. Okay, sorry, I gotta take this. Hey, baby, I went bad, real bad, but I'm okay. Yeah, don't worry, I got the money. Look, meet me at Dara's place in Chumash. Hey, what was that all about? What the hell was that all about? What was that all about? Nothing, just a friend. Can you believe those guys back there? As sick as it gets. Oh, no, 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 there's more. They're coming after us, get rid of them. Screw you, assholes! Who the hell? Hey, look, I'm tired of you. Where are you going? Let's just get out of here before any more of my uncles show up. Uncles? What? Uncles? What? Whoa, uncles? What? I mean animals! <laughs> before any more of those animals show up, I, I think I'm still in shock. Man, you said uncles. You said uncles. You said uncles. Okay, yeah, they were my uncle, so what? Your uncles passed you around like a piece of meat? Your uncles passed you around like a piece of meat? Your uncles passed you around like a piece of meat? No, asshole, they raised me. Look, I took some money, okay? What does it matter? Stop asking me all these questions. Shit, it matters because I just killed them all. It matters because I just killed them all. Doesn't matter. I'm I'm impressed. That's all. This really has been win-win all around. Well, they told me I couldn't see my boyfriend anymore. Do you know what that's like? They'd frozen my allowance. I had no money. Damn. That's straight up cold right there. Jesus. I think I'm the only one who's naive here. Okay, this is it. Thank you again. Look, I think we should just put all this behind us, don't you? Where are we? This is nowhere near Chumash. Yeah, I always take this route. Less traffic. I know these streets like the back of my hand. <laughs> Hell, fella! What do you got? What do you got? I heard you're interested in taking care of some lost travelers for a price. And so it is. And so it is. Leave the body. Take the gold. Come on. Move. Move. Crack, crack. 